It's the Rockman back. Using a bench press rep range I feel like I haven't seen all year. I broke my volume down into fives. So eight sets of five. The third set is uh, corrupted. And the seventh set appears just to be a picture. So uh, there will only be six sets. And I'm sure nobody will miss the two missing sets. <laughs> I did all these at 130 kilograms or 286.5 pounds. Uh, felt pretty good. A couple changes from last week when I did the 142.5 AMRAP. Since that was the first workout I've had on the bench press in a while, and I kind of wanted to do a test, um, I decided it wouldn't be wise to fully wind up my setup and go for RPE 9 or even 10 and get some kind of weird pointer or some shit in my hip or lower back. It's just not worth it when you haven't been practicing the setup. And I do tend to get uh, cramps in my, well, in my thoracic, in my lumbar, just wherever I'm unevenly loading that tension when I haven't practiced it for a while. Uh, so I went ahead and kicked my feet out front. But today I decided to execute with a little greater technical proficiency. Toe picking, working on my positioning underneath the bar on the liftoff. All these sets were done with my ring finger on the rings. No competition grip today. And honestly, I'm happy with how I ended up dialing into the groove on them. I think that 130 kilos is probably a little bit of an undershoot on where I should be with this, but I've never regretted going into a new training block with conservative numbers. I don't know how many workouts I'll get into it, but <laughs> I would definitely like to repeat it uh, for a couple weeks and see where it takes me, hopefully to a peaking phase where I can hit a heavy single above 95%. That'd be pretty awesome. So that's the idea behind the switch anyway, is to hit a little bit higher tonnage, uh, increase the frequency a little bit so that I can still hit that same amount of volume so really, I think the biggest change is obviously being on the bench press and hitting a little bit higher tonnage than I would be able to if I used the two-day-a-week uh, higher rep scheme that I was using for some of my other accessory work. I kept my grip for all the sets with my ring finger on the ring, and I had a pretty good time with it. Once I got dialed into the groove, I felt pretty strong. Uh, I had my training partner came down today. I guess I made a little bit too much racket and woke him up from his nap he's got his little workbench next to mine and whether i'm working on the workbench or i'm on the weight bench he likes to come down and just hang out while we're doing guy stuff his name's asher show me how to lift it bobby uh swing on it then body weight exercises <laughs> It was his third birthday yesterday, and his mommy insisted he had to have his bangs cut out of his face uh, so she could see his pretty eyes for his birthday pictures. <laughs> um, I just wanted to leave him shaggy and not give him the Amish boy haircut, but I don't get to decide that kind of shit. So, <laughs> um, Yeah, usually he's taking his nap, but like I said, I was probably a little bit making a little bit too much racket. So then I lost my seventh set. Well, I, I goofed up the seventh set. And then my eighth set, I took about two minutes. I was feeling pretty strong. So I went ahead and owned a couple extra reps with it with a super long pause on the seventh one just to kind of see how many I thought I had left. And I'm going to go ahead and say nine or ten. Uh, the truth may be a little bit a little bit different, but I know what it felt like. So, I felt like RPE 7 at the most. Hope you guys are training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.